Greetings colleagues. We're now on Unit 13 and during this unit we're going to learn a whole lot more about CTE advisory committees and CTE student organizations. During Units 1 through 12 we've concentrated mostly on pedagogy, instruction, and assessment. Essentially we've concentrated on how students learn, how you as a Workplace Specialist 1 teacher can meet their needs, and how you can be the best teacher possible for the diverse learners you face every day. We change it a little bit and during this unit we'll examine how important it is to develop local, regional, and national relationships with stakeholders in your content area. Those stakeholders include business, industry customers, and interested parties that can forward the mission of your particular CTE program and influence others to do the same. We're also going to examine more about CTSOs, that's Career Tech Ed Student Organizations, and we're going to discuss the importance of student engagement through involvement with CTSOs. So the standards-based objectives for this assignment are twofold. SBO1 is after reviewing the assigned materials for advisory committees and participating in the related group discussion, the learner will write a summary document related to the specific program advisory committee developed or being developed for their specific CTE program. This written document will include all information requested in the assignment guideline and the learner will achieve a minimum of five points for the related group discussion. Standards-based objective number two reads, after reviewing assigned materials, related career and technical student organizations websites, and participating in the related group discussion, the learner will identify a CTSO organization appropriate to the program area taught and provide information about that CTSO with all applicable information included in sufficient detail. The learner will achieve a minimum of five points for the related group discussion. As in most of our other assignments, there are some required and suggested readings, and it will be very important for you to complete your readings before you log on to the discussion forum to discuss with your WS1 colleagues both advisory committees and CTSOs. The required and suggested reading can be found here at our website and will be extremely helpful as you navigate this assignment. Again, please read this first before going to the discussion forum and interacting with your colleagues. Also, make sure you look at the best practice videos for this unit as we have some CTE directors, CTE teachers, advisory committee members, and CTSO student leaders who will provide testimony. Finally, Make sure you read the discussion forum and written assignment for this unit that can be found here on our website. We think you'll really enjoy Unit 13 and we are certain you will learn more about both CTE advisory committees and CTE student organizations.